as the CEO of the startup. Bruh. I do think it's a very important responsibility to be out there and in front of the people. And I get this question all the time. Why do you stream? Well, you know what? I decided that I'm gonna have to answer it. So, you know, of course, during a nice all hands, I let loose. I, I let it out there. I told exactly why. I stream and even make YouTube videos. I just wanted to say your recent streams have made a huge difference for me lately. Really helps remind me to have fun while engineering. Well, thank you. Hey, I really do appreciate that. I hope that you guys, uh, you know, you understand something. A huge reason why I do what I do is so that you guys can find that joy again. Do you know what I mean? I think it is too easy to forget how fun engineering actually is. We literally can build whatever the hell you want whenever you want to be able to build it, right? Like that is just so incredible. And I feel like there's just so many people that go off and they just get so stuck with this idea that things either have to be perfect, they have to be able to be this good to be able to build something, they're stuck constantly in tutorial hell, they're constantly stuck, they're constantly looking down, they constantly look at somebody else doing something and they're going super fast, and they just feel this like huge weight on their shoulders where they wish they were something better, where they wish they could actually accomplish something, but they don't realize like the fun and the goodness that's literally right before them. It's like right there. They can reach out and they can touch it. And when I started watching a couple of the engineering streams, because I got curious what was going on, right? I started realizing that it was very subdued. Every engineer would get on there. Yeah, there was like either really educational streams or there was really like someone just working on a project, right? But there was nobody in there that was, I felt like just having just like that, the, the raw goodness of just making something. You know what I mean? Just just having fun doing the engineering. And I just felt like that was just a huge disservice because there's so many new people that I see all the time. I get so many whispers like, please, I, you know, I don't know what to do next. I feel stuck. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. And th the answer is, is just make it fun, right? Like just find something you like to do and just build it. Don't care if it's useful. Don't care if it's going to make somebody else happy. Don't care if you can or can't make money off of it. Just simply enjoy it. And if you can figure out a way to enjoy it, your skills are going to grow so fast. You're going to be able to push through the times that are hard, right? Because there's eventually a hard, hard moment in your life coming where you're not going to want to program. You're going to have a bunch of dumb crap going on in your life. Your job's going to give you terrible things to do. Something's going to happen. But if you don't have like that inner thing that drives you forward, you're going to be sad. You know what I mean? You're going to be just like dying on the inside all the time. And I just wanted you guys to know like, it is actually fun. And that's been a huge motivation for why I've done this stream, why I've started doing this, why I've done any of it at all, why I started making YouTube videos. I don't even like making YouTube videos, but I know 100% that it was going to be worth it for the people watching. They had to see something different, right? They just had to. And so I had to make it. I felt like it just had to be done. I did it for you guys. Everybody say hi. Hi, YouTube. Goes uh, out I'm not going to lie to you. This is this is not monetarily worth this the goes time. Out to the I get paid enormously more at Netflix this goes to do out my to work. Primogen. And the reality is I probably could have been being paid this goes more out to the at Netflix if I would have not this done this and just focused on Netflix work. That is the reality. I could have been paid more. But I chose to do this. I had to do it, right? Like you real I really had to do it. There's too many people that just they feel lost out there, you know? It sucks. I don't I, I felt lost, man. I've told you this guy's a million times. Like my dad died when I was young. I had nobody to speak into my life. Like as a dude, I feel like you need a dude to speak into your life, right? It's just a reality. I don't know what it's like to be a, a, a woman. So I can't, Anna Codes, I have no idea what you need. But for me, it's like, that's what I needed the most when I was young. And I never had it. The only people I had in my life were like my, I had a, a drug addict for a brother and a alcoholic for a uncle. And my other uncle physically abused me. Like I just didn't have anything that was like a good male role model of any kind. My dad was awesome, but, you know, he just, he was stuck in addiction, you know, and I love my dad. He's just a shitty dad, you know, he, he, he made bad decisions and he killed himself, right? Uh, driving too fast, drinking, and that's, it was a bad, it was his own stupid fault, you know, and he left a bunch of youngins like me at home with nobody. So, you know, 
that's why, you know, I gotta be that to somebody else, you know? Oh, that got weird at the end. I can't, I can't talk about that stuff. Let's, let's move on. All right, anyways, I like you guys, though. You guys are all a bunch of degenerates, and I appreciate y'all. Sweet transition time. Go! Get him out. Get you him out. You can feel the calm before the storm as the round begins. You don't begins. want none of this!